so so versus is a film about um uh, a troubled young foster kid who's lived his life in care and um who's sort of teetering on the edge of going out of control but he manages to find his feet and his voice in the world of rap battle so i i was sent a um an early version of the script and had a lot of preconceptions about what a rap battle drama might be. Um, and so, very honestly, I wasn't expecting to like it, wasn't expecting to be my material. Um, I like a wide range of music, but rap isn't a particular favourite. But when I started to read it, it was a real page turner. It was, um, you know, I was, I was really surprised. It broke all my preconceptions about what it might be. Um, and it was incredibly moving. Um, so. Yeah, literally from, from the moment I put the script down, I wanted to, to meet the people behind it and get involved and, you know, help the film get made. I, they sent me the script and I read it and I really liked it. Uh, I knew nothing about rap battles. I didn't know it existed. Um, but I really thought there was something about it. I really thought it had something. And I liked the character that they were looking at for me. And... Um, I thought she was very warm and uh, firm and kind, but um, yeah, I liked her. I thought she had um, depth. And um, I met Ed and Bennett for lunch. They took me to lunch and we had a chat about it. And I really liked them too. I just, and it was their first feature film. And I. We tried to reread. Really, really and I, I, well, I just thought, I don't know, it's like, I wanted to, I wanted to be in it because I liked it, but I also wanted to encourage them um, as it was their first feature. And I also, I, I feel like you, you've got to give back, you know, to uh, continue and to encourage new filmmakers, which is what I thought these two, and I thought they had something. And, um, yeah, I wanted... I wanted them to do well with it, actually. I just thought, I just thought that it had something, yeah. Um, I was very lucky, I didn't have to audition. They just offered me the part, which was great, because I hate auditions, um, still. <laughs> There's a lot of different um, people that make up the cast. Um, one thing I should say about Ruth, by the way, is from the very first, you know, like, uh, like words on a page, uh, the writers had Ruth in mind for Fiona. You were the only one that they were like, it has to be Ruth. So when that day that we were going to meet Ruth was, it was Ed and I, and there's uh, 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 Dan Hayes is the, the, the co-writer and he couldn't come because he was too nervous. And he told us um, to not F this up because she was the only one. Like after that, we had no idea. So, so, so bad she said yes. Um, the other roles, it was, it was always going to be a cast of young people and um, we kind of, you know, our, our, our backers, our, our finances kind of gave us a, a blank check to cast who we want and just get the best people. So it was a, an open casting. Um, Connor, especially Connor, when he walked in, he, like, I'm, I'm trying not to use tropes, but he had something, he had a magnetism. Um, it was very clear that yeah, he was just a very gifted, talented actor um, who hadn't done much before this. So, so we also felt like we had made a discovery with him and that was exciting for us. Um, there are battlers in the film. So the guy who plays Slaughter is Shotty Horror, who's arguably the UK's biggest ever rap battler. Everyone who battles in the film, bar Connor, is a rap battler. Um, and Connor, we, we, we looked in both communities. We looked in a rap battle word for a lead and we also looked at actors for our leads and Connor stepped forward. So he had the acting chops for it and we had to teach him yeah, to battle and he, he, he learned. Yeah, he, yeah, we brought in some, some, some battlers and they trained him up, but also he's just, he was just very dedicated and he came prepared, you know, day one when we were gonna train him, he came in and went, I've got something for you and did something, which I won't repeat because I can't. Um, I think it, it, it wasn't intentional, but we embrace it. You know, it kind of, it, it's, an easy, um, it's an easy pitch. It's an easy thing for people to kind of go, okay, we kind of get that. We've seen that. 
so it gives us a, a good into the film. But um, the inspiration comes from the, the, the two writers. So Ed Lilly, who, who co-wrote with Dan, is a massive rap battle fan. You know, he goes to these events week in, week out, and you know, he wanted to, he wanted to do something within the rap battle world and, and kind of surprise people with it. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of things said. You know, words are, 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 can be empowering, but also incredibly devastating in this arena. Um, but he wanted to kind of display the skill and intelligence and wit and creativity and all those things that the battlers did. So he wanted to bring that to a wider audience. Um, and then Dan is, um, had worked in social care for 20 years. So he brought the foster care story and it's an unlikely match, but you know, I hope you'll agree, a, a match that works. Yeah, yeah, so that's the... That's... Well, I think um, they always say theatre is therapy. So, I mean, I do think that in exploring other characters, other, um, what, you know, other ways of people living and other emotions to what, say, you normally would show, I think, yeah, um, definitely um, is, uh, yeah, important in many ways for uh, showing that. Joyeux anniversaire Dino Film Festival. Festival. Okay. Bon. <laughs>